Another Bendy in the Ink Machine theory? You betcha! Hey you prodigies, Pud Charles here, and in this video I'll be sharing with you a Bendy and the Ink Machine conspiracy theory. This one will explain which side Alice Angel will be on. Prodigies, please pay careful attention to this theory and watch it all the way through, because it's going to blow your mind. If you would like more horror game discussions, theories, and secrets, remember to subscribe and tap that bell, as on top of the many theories I've already made, there will be more to come. Just before we begin, if you think that this video is too long for you, remember to tap add to and select watch later to save your progress, or just do it for fun. Let's start with what we know. We know that there are messages on the walls of Joey Drew's cartoon studio, such as Dreams Come True and The Creator Lied to Us. We also know that Susie Campbell is the voiceover artist for Alice Angel, and Susie holds Joey Drew in high regards. Susie Campbell mentions that the word around the studio was that Alice Angel could be as popular as Bendy someday. And finally, Sammy Lawrence, music director at the studio, saw Bendy as almost a holy being. Got all those facts? Now let's bring it all together. Before we fully understand which side Alice Angel will take, we must first understand a few things from the beginning of Bendy and the Ink Machine. We are all familiar with Joey Drew being the head of the cartoon studio that Henry returns to after 30 years of quitting. As part of Henry's adventure, we find out that Joey Drew might actually be a little bit crazy. Wally Franks, the janitor at the studio, reported that Joey Drew asked all the workers to donate an item from their desks to appease the gods. In Wally's recording, he mentions that he thinks Joey lost his mind and says, but hey, he breaks the checks. Which suggests that the workers pretty much only respect Joey for being their boss and giving them money. Kind of like Squidward's relationship with Mr. Krabs in Spongebob. Come to think of it, Squidward sometimes thinks that Spongebob and Mr. Krabs are a bit loopy too. Well, anyway, this is brought up again by another worker, Norman Polk, who mentions in Chapter 2 that Joey Drew has his peculiarities, and Sammy Lawrence makes it pretty obvious that he's annoyed by Joey's decision to build a system of ink pipes at the studio. There is one exception though. Susie Campbell. Susie Campbell's audio recording gives us some vital information about Joey Drew, as well as herself. She mentions that she started working with Joey Drew two months before she made the recording, and her work involved voicing various characters, ranging from talking chairs to dancing chickens. Whether Alice voiced these characters with Joey Drew's studio is unclear, as voice actors could have gigs with various studios, but she makes it quite clear that she voices Alice Angel and feels a connection with her. If you are a veteran prodigy, you will be familiar with a theory that we came up with that gives evidence showing that Susie Campbell may be Alice Angel. Even if this theory isn't true, this line is spoken with such passion and timing that suggests that Alice and Susie are alike. Similar to how Pokemon and humans can build a synchronized relationship in the Pokemon series, they have a connection, almost as if they know each other. And since voice actors tend to need a strong feeling of understanding for their character, much like any actor really, before they're able to play them, it does make sense that this would be the case. It also seems that she has a connection with Joey Drew, her recording means that even though she was only working there for two months, she was going to love working under Joey Drew. This gives us some incredibly important information. Susie Campbell not only wanted to make a good impression on Joey Drew, as she was a new worker, but she also liked Joey Drew and the others at the studio. She was the odd one out because her work life was a blessing in comparison to her fellow workers. Susie was completely oblivious to Joey and Sammy's crazy ways because all she saw was her future success. This leads me to believe that Alice Angel would be indebted to Joey Drew and would actually be on his side. If Susie Campbell is truly grateful to be working with Joey Drew and for him to be allowing her to find a character that she truly loves to voice, one that would be so popular that it would make her a star. It makes sense that the one cartoon who would truly share a connection with her would understand this and follow suit, especially since Joey Drew would have given her life. However, we need to consider that 30 years had passed at the studio, and we can't be sure exactly when Joey Drew's rituals were performed and the effect that they had on the workers. Well, other than Sammy for now, we also need to consider how the workers' perspectives may have changed as a result. Yes, Alice Angel may have been devoted and loyal to Joey Drew Senpai at first, but remember the message the creator lied to us. Someone suffered at that studio, and it doesn't matter whether they were human or cartoon. This is because we also need to consider how the rituals also changed the minds of the workers. Sammy, 
once annoyed out of his mind with Joey Drew's ways, suddenly became a devoted follower of Bendy. So it's possible that the other workers, such as Norman Polk, shared the same switch in mentality. As a result, Susie Campbell, the one worker to share an honest connection with their work and enjoy working with Joey Drew, would have turned against him after he betrayed his creations. After all, the creator lied to them. What do you think? I think that there are other pretty cool points to consider. For example, if Joey Drew really is Bendy, then Bendy and Alice's rivalry would also be a clue pointing towards this theory being true. We can also look to the message written in Boris's room, who's laughing now, as a way of Alice mockingly eliminating any potential competition. Dreams Come True would refer to Susie's only character who she shared a true connection with in the animation world coming to life. Remember to subscribe and tap that bell for more interesting horror game theories and secrets. If you love horror game theories, be sure to check the description for a link to all of the theories and secrets and prodigies. I really hope that these theories help you to expand on how you think, so it can help you with your thinking in your daily lives. See ya! Prodigies, I realize that Bendy and the Ink Machine is only in its early stages, and many things will probably change from now until the final version, especially since Chapter 3 is just around the corner and the release date trailer is going to drop in no time. I only made this theory because a lot of the Prodigies really wanted a deeper analysis of Alice Angel, and I'm sure Chapter 3 will give us even more information that will make Alice's character even more interesting than what I've said in this theory. That goes for Susie Campbell too, so let's look forward to that. Chapter 3 hype! Remember to subscribe and tap that bell for more cool and interesting horror game theories.